Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Dithani and if you are interested to learn about robotics, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to talk about robotics. We are going to talk about basic introduction of robotics and we are going to know what is the basic components we are using in robotics. What is the use of alternative current and what is the use of direct current in robotics. A robot is a machine that can do tasks on its own. It has electronic parts, sensors to see and feel and mechanical parts to move. People use robots for many jobs like making things, helping with medical tasks and doing housework. The robotics is the study of making robots. It includes electronic engineering for circuits and power, mechanical engineering for designing and building the robot's body and movement, and programming for giving the robot instructions. Electronics, they form the foundation of the robot's control system, providing the circuits needed to power the robot control mode, control its motors and connect its various components. Electronics in robots use both AC alternating current and DC direct current. AC is typically used for power supplies, while DC is used for motors and circuits. AC alternating current is used mostly for giving power to robots. It's good because it can travel long distances without losing much power and can be changed to different strength series. This makes it perfect for keeping the robot running smoothly. DC direct current is used a lot for making motors work and running all the little circuits inside the robot. Motors in robots, like the ones that make them move or grab things, usually run on DC power. There are also all the small electronic parts that control how the robot thinks and acts the DC power too. In robotics, electronics, sensors and Arduino boards are used for different essential functions. Arduino board, this is a popular microcontroller used to program and control the robot. It acts as the brain of the robot, processing inputs from sensors and sending commands to the motors and other parts of the robot. Sensors, these are used to gather information from the robot's environment such as distance, light, temperature or movement, allowing the robot to interact intelligently with the world around it. Mechanical components are the backbone of robotics, enabling machines to interact with their environment and perform tasks effectively. These components are really important in robotics because they help robots do a lot of different jobs. Engineers use mechanical engineering to design strong bodies for robots that can move smoothly. They create joints and gears that let robots bend, twist and wrap things with their hands. These hands made from tough yet light materials are essential in places like factories where robots need to pick up and assemble items quickly and accurately. In addition to hands, mechanical engineers design other parts that make robots work well in different industries. For example, they build sturdy frames and precise mechanisms that allow robots to move precisely and safely in environments like hospitals or construction sites. These parts are made to handle heavy tasks while keeping people safe. Engineers also make sure these components are easy to maintain so that robots can keep working efficiently over a long time. Overall, mechanical components are the muscles and bones of robots. They make sure robots can move, grab things and work reliably in many different jobs, making our lives easier. Integration with hardware software interacts with electronic components and mechanical parts to coordinate actions. It manages how sensors send information and how motors respond to commands. Programming Programming and software play a crucial role in making robots smart and capable of performing tasks autonomously. Here's how they're important in robotics. Programming for giving the robot instructions on what to do. First controlling movements, programmers write code to control robot movements, ensuring smooth and precise actions for effective task execution. Second processing information software processes data from sensors, allowing robots to perceive their environment, make decisions and adapt to changes in real time. Third task automation programs automate repetitive tasks like assembly line operations or sorting items in warehouses, improving efficiency and reducing errors. Fourth integration with hardware software interacts with electronic components and mechanical parts, coordinating actions by managing sensor data and motor responses. Fifth, flexibility and adaptability programmers develop algorithms that enable robots to learn from experience or adjust behaviors based on new information. In summary, robotics is a fascinating field where electronics, sensors, mechanical engineering and programming unite to create machines capable of performing complex tasks with remarkable precision and intelligence. These components work seamlessly together, enabling robots to excel in various applications from industrial automation to healthcare and beyond. If you are interested in exploring more about robotics, technology and innovative projects, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. I'll be sharing tutorials, tips and insights that can help you on your journey. In the next part, we'll dive into the basics of electronics, where you'll learn how circuits and components power and control these incredible machines. 